What's going on, my people? It's Tony from Food Sesh, and we're back at it with another one. So yes, guys, I'm doing another snack review. When I was in Walmart this weekend, I found a couple of snacks that I didn't see that were labeled new. And whenever I see something new that looks interesting, you know that it's only right that I pick it up for the Food Sesh fam to let you guys know whether I think it's a hit or miss. Now, if you haven't checked out my last video, I did the Entenmann's Mini Apple Crumb Cakes. Go check out that video if you haven't. That was one of the items that I picked up along with these bad boys right here. The new Mott's Apple Strudel Bars made with applesauce. Now they do have these in other flavors, but I decided to go with the original apple because Mott's is known for their apple. So if anything, this is gonna probably be their number one hit right here. I'm really curious to see if it's gonna have applesauce in the middle or it's just gonna be like applesauce mixed in with the dough to give it that applesauce flavor. Here's what the box looks like. As you can see, new apple strudel mats made with applesauce and you get six bars. Here's what the other side of the box looks like right there. This side's definitely better for the thumbnail. That's why you saw me use this side for the thumbnail. So there's the nutritional facts right there. So here are the other two flavors you can get. Banana strudel and berry strudel. Now we're gonna do the OG apple as you already know, Mott's has the apple and that's made with real applesauce. So now let's open this bad boy and see what's good. Let's see what they look like. All right, so that's what it looks like before you open them. Six individually wrapped bars. Let's pull one out guys and see what's good. They're about average size, like what I was assuming them to be. They don't feel like they're really thick and there's definitely space in this bag. So it's not as long as the bag. All of that is space right there. Check that out, guys. So this thing is smaller than what it looks like. Push it down. This is all space right there. That's all air right there. But let's see. Sometimes good things come in small packages. So let's see if this thing is worth it. It might be a small, tasty treat. So as you can see, this thing is not very big at all. It's about the size of two McDonald's McNuggets put together. You would have one giant nugget like this. It actually looks like a chicken McNugget from the front. It has like a powdery top. It's a little skinny. I don't know if that's the applesauce, like if it's a dry applesauce. This is what the bottom looks like. Check that out right there. Now we're gonna split this bad boy in half and see if there's some applesauce in here. If it's just that top layer, that's the actual applesauce. Let's see guys, check that out. So I'm not really seeing any applesauce in there. The top has some kind of layer, which might be dried applesauce, but let's see what it tastes like, guys. I'm just gonna eat this one piece in one shot, and we're gonna see what's good with the Mott's apple strudel. Cheers. So I finished half of the Mott's apple strudel, and I'm really surprised of how dry it was. You can taste that apple flavor, but I don't taste any of the strudel flavor. I was assuming that this was gonna have some kind of filling. I also don't taste the applesauce. It has an apple flavor. Fortunately, since this doesn't have any kind of filling, it's extremely dry, guys. This is something like if you don't have a cup of milk, cup of coffee, or a cup of tea, or any kind of drink with it, it's just gonna be really dry going down your throat. If they would have put an applesauce filling in there, this would have been 10 times better. Unfortunately, they didn't. So as far as score on the Mott's Apple Strudel Bar, I'm gonna have to give this a low 4.0 out of 10. This is 100% a miss. I don't even need to eat this other half to already know that I don't want it, guys. It tastes pretty good. You do get that apple flavor. It's definitely way too dry in my opinion. It definitely needed some kind of filling. It does say made with real applesauce, but I don't taste any of the applesauce and it would have been a lot better if they actually put a filling in there to make it more like a real strudel. So yeah, guys, my score stands 4.0. These are a miss for me, but if you wanna go try them out, go ahead, guys. Let me know if you disagree with me in the comments. Because you never know, guys, what might not be good for me might be good for you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. 
and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.